Hey everybody, Jig and Jerry here. Well, tell you what, it's the last week of June. I'm finishing it up and uh, coming out here and uh, been running into lots of folks and parents and children with their children, fishing, trying to have a good time, getting into some fish. And uh, overall, uh, even though there just has not been millions of fish, uh, some of the people that I've got a chance to work with and watch out here have found some fantastic fish. And some of the sights I've got to see while I'm out here haven't been too bad either. Check this out. Look at this uh, real pretty little crane here. Sitting here working on the fish. And as I'm strolling down through here, you know, I run into all kinds of things when I look over the side with other people. I just happened to notice a little commotion in the water coming up this way down the river. And I look down, and what do I get the chance to see? This beautiful manatee just cruising on by. As you look down, you'll see him here coming right underneath the pier. Isn't he a massive one? And then I run over to the other side, and I get to see him go out the other side now this is a great way to start the day because I'm already getting to see fancy things I don't get to see all the time of course maybe I do because I'm always out here but anyway for those of you who don't keep your eyes open when you get out here because these are the things you can see well anyway time to get started there's a lot of fishing at the end of this month so let's see what everybody else including myself did Well, all right. Well, started out, I'll tell you, on and off fishing with some fishing partners here. This is my buddy Hal. Me and him are out off the end of this pier, taking our risks, fishing over the debris and straight down for sheephead and casting for trout. So I'll tell you what, let's uh, see how it starts out. What do we get into? All right. Well, looks like I'm starting out right because that's my oyster jellyfish. And uh, you know, I always say you can't fish for sheephead and stuff without getting an oyster toad fish. So that's one way to start it up. Let's see how Hal does here. That's a pretty one, Hal. Well, Hal managed to get himself a real decent sheep head there. He's rebaiting. And, uh, oh, I think I feel a bump myself. What is that? Something's playing with it. Maybe I get one. Uh, darn it. Well, that's another oyster toad fish. There must be a whole pot of it. Okay, he won't bite you. He's right, done. Alright, let him go. Alright, everybody look at right, this. Alright guys, Jimmy Jerry Mount Pleasant here. Out here having fun, got some spectators. Sheephead. They're in there. Wait for Godzilla, he's in there too. When I catch him, you'll know I'll need a bigger camera. We'll catch y'all later. Love it. I wanna go fishing. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I want to go fishing and I want to do some catching. Well, luckily, I've got to put a couple of days in here on the last week. So, let me see real quick so this doesn't take too long. What was I able to get into? All right.
Cha-ching! Sheep head. <laughs> Alright, we slow down. We let him go. Let's see what else we get, guys. Alright, that was great. Anyway, look. I've been getting a lot of questions about carts. What the preferred carts should be. Do I need a cart? Uh, how is your cart set up? How should I set up my cart? Well, they're all different types of carts. So, I'm going to help answer those questions in this episode. So, here we go. Anyway, look, about the carts. A number of people have already seen mine out here. But, I'll just start off by showing you mine. Here you go. For those who have them. This is my cart. What I like to do is I customize it to suit me and the way I like to fish. I use drawers. I had set up on this little table. And of course, in one of my other videos, I showed y'all that I like to keep tools to repair fishing reels, uh, remove the hooks from fish's mouths, a little tide chart, hand sanitizer. You know, those fish can be kind of stinky. There you go. Anyway, I got another drawer set up with uh, DOA and Billy Bay shrimp and jigs and extra hooks and lures. And I've got different grubs and flukes and accessories in that drawer and then I hear I keep um, all my bagged grubs and jigs and stuff and then here I keep jig heads and uh, a little setup with all my hooks and swivels and leads uh, fluorocarbon line weights set up underneath I keep a bucket for other accessories like woohoo my slim jims I shouldn't have showed you all that because now you know where they are uh, extra pair of little shoes, water shoes, stuff like that. I customized my cart, of course. Now, as you see, as I customized it, I put me a little cut board for my bait out here. Now, I got my knife set up and a little oyster knife for doing a couple of other things, but I put a little tube and a little holder right here so that the blade's not exposed because there are children running around out on this pier, and they come up and they get curious. So when they get curious, they come up and they grab things, and you don't want them to be able to grab that blade if you put knives there, okay? So anyway, that's just one of the other things I added in my cart. You can customize your carts the way you like. I keep my own mud minnow traps and stuff like that on board. My own landing net. Uh, that way I don't have to chase the ones down that are available at the pier. Uh, of course, got to have my drink holder, preferably me, coffee. Um, and of course, my cooler. Now I keep a cooler on my cart uh, in case I do a catch a fish that uh, is keepable or something I want to take home. And for other things, uh, I keep a little mud minnow or live shrimp, a uh, little live well in here with a little aerator, a couple extra buckets, and of course uh, rod holders for the for the pier, uh, for the railing in case some big fish grabs my rod, it doesn't go skiing across the water and run away. Now, a lot of people have asked me, well, why do you need so many fishing rods when you're out here fishing? Well, I don't. Uh, I'm not fishing with all these rods at one time. Uh, these rods are for different techniques and backup. You know, if a rod breaks, I don't have to go home crying, oh, I can't fish for this day because my rod broke. I have an extra rod with me. Then I'll go home and cry about the rod. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is a bait rod. These are two fight rods I use for sheephead, red drum, black drum, flounder. Uh, these are jigging rods, different uh, sides. It's a medium, medium uh, action and uh, ultralight action here. Uh, I use for jigging artificials for red drum and spotted sea trout, mostly. Anyway, the carts you can set up any way you like. That's how I set up mine. That's it. Hopefully the rest of the day, maybe I can uh, get some film of us catching some fish now instead of staring at these clouds and everything else what do you got she got any fish you got a fish what do you get look at that look at that look at that she has her bait and she's got the uh the coverings for some sushi there now we just need to fish all right catch y'all later all right well you know there are other fishing stars to the end of this month so I made sure while I was out here, and uh, the help from the kids, the parents, and the gentlemen, just then with ladies and everybody out here fishing to have a good time, I figured I'd take the moment and show off their catches for the end of this month. 
All right, let's check them out, guys. Hey, everybody, Jig and Jerry, Mount Pleasant Pier. I have Caroline here. Let me go ahead and lean down to Caroline. Caught herself a little pinfish. You see that? Now, she's been catching a lot of these, and these are great for bait, and she's having fun. She's been letting her go. She's been letting yours go? So you can catch some. Good job, Caroline. You gonna catch some more? All right, she's gonna catch some more. We'll catch y'all later. Hey, Jig and Jerry here, Mount Pleasant Pier. Got Eric, daughter Katie, caught this really nice clown. And well, how much did you say it weighs? Two and a half pounds? Oh. And let's go ahead and see what length it is. 17 inch flounder, guys. Good job. Woo! Here's Trish with her daughter Caroline and her son Connor, and they are catching croaker. And you saw Caroline earlier with a nice little pinfish. And oh, oh, I think he's got one. Let's see. He's all excited. Is it coming up? Look at that. He's got another one. And you know what I'm going to do? I want to see if they donate to the Jerry Bait Fund. Haha. <laughs> we'll catch you all later. Good job, guys. Look at that. Hey guys, Jig and Jerry here, Mount Pleasant Pier. We've got Blake here, just landed him a nice spotted sea trout. Pull it up a little sideways for him, Blake. Look at that. We're gonna get a length and see how long it is. Hey right guys, now. this is Blake with his 20 inch spotted sea trout. That's what it turned out to be. Good job, Blake. Catch some more. Hey guys, Jig and Jerry here, Mount Pleasant Pier. We've got Mike Kirkwood, yep. just caught this 19 inch. Spotted sea trout here at the Mount Pleasant Pier using frozen shrimp. Good job, Mike. Great. Hope you get some more. <laughs> All right, guys, I want one too. I get to yell it. I get to catch nine more of these, right? Yeah, yeah, you get nine more. Nine more. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys. Did you bring Chicken Jerry this nice croaker? Look at that. The young lady brought me a nice croaker for bacon. That is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. All right, I will see you down here shortly. All right, bye-bye. Uh, all right, thank you, Caroline. She was bringing me bait that whole day. Awesome. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my show for the last week of June, fishing at the Mount Pleasant Pier. I hope uh, anybody comes out here and gives it a whirl, has some type of enjoyment, whether it's looking at the animals, birds fishing I hope they do some catching anyway you know like I say good luck out there have fun fishing and see you later y'all and by the way for those of you who haven't subscribed yet feel free look down there's a subscribe button if you like my channels it gives you the opportunity to know when I have more coming up all right take care everyone